Homosexual? Some point. Huh? Are you homosexual? call it a hot take if you want to as a licensed esthetician and makeup artist it is very clear to me that the modern woman is in direct competition with drag queens think about it the drag queens are the ones that have to get the fake fake butts the aesthetics of the makeup and how they have to go so hard with makeup to make them look feminine nowadays that's the modernized glam and i love the drag makeup i love it it eats down every time i'm not coming for the drag community at all i'm saying i see a correlation in between the aesthetics of the two i will come for the women because at the end of the day why do you feel so i don't want to say threatened i hate that word but why do you feel like you are entitled to try to compete with something that is imitating well because <laughs> like you just said a lot of this makeup that they're doing and even the bodies, although fake, women see it and they think it looks good and like, oh man, I'm the real thing. I, I would like to do that too. Like even though they know it's not real, some of these modern women are so delusional that that's what they look for. That That's really what they're wanting for themselves. And so they go get the surgery when the people are imitating them. You. All right, hey y'all. So listen, Regine, I don't like to call her Little Wings Daughter because she has her own name. Regine, but let me say something, right? So she recently posted a video with her butt out and people was basically basically saying, oh, well, you are seeking attention. And her response was, well, I'm grown and I can do what I want. Just because you're grown don't mean you have to be half naked and showing everybody your butt. And I also find it weird that in every female's pictures, y'all have to turn around turn around and allow people to see your bottom. You're seeking attention, no matter if you want to ignore it or not. When you show your butt in this manner, you're seeking somebody's attention. I genuinely find it weird how women are so delusional when y'all are trying to behave as if the things that y'all post on social media is not for attention. This video that I'm recording is for people's attention. So if you're not seeking attention, why are you not keeping those pictures personal for you and whoever else you want to see in your personal life? It's very much seeking attention. America has given these women this mindset that you can dress half naked and you are not supposed to have any responses. When you're dressing half naked, you are seeking somebody's attention. You are seeking somebody's validation. You are trying to show them, look at me. I got a body and I got a nice ass. You're seeking attention. A lot of women and young girls, y'all don't recognize how much denial y'all are in because when you behave in this manner, you are seeking somebody's validation and you are seeking attention at the end of the day. If you was not seeking attention, you will be totally covered without your butt showing in any shape or manner. All right. Hey, y'all. It's time. Them some nice J's though. So one of my people on Instagram, he was asking me my perspective on this topic right here, right? One thing that I find weird about women is that when they have started to consider dating, they have not sat down and really considered everything that is going to come with the situation of dating an individual while you have children. And one of the things that I find weird is that women want to date men and y'all want them to take care of your children, but you are not going to allow them to discipline those said children that they are are taken care of. I genuinely find it weird how you are dating a man that you cannot trust to discipline your child, but you can trust him to penetrate you every day and every night and live in that same household with that child while you're asking him to provide for a child that is not his. If you have allowed a man to come into your life and he's penetrating you, he's providing financially, emotionally, spiritually, he's around the children consistently, why is it not his place to be able to discipline those children when they are being disrespectful as towards him or towards you or towards the household that he is now the man of? And then y'all will allow the, the, the undisciplined father to come into the life and tell those children to not pay him no attention, attention um, to tell those children they don't have to listen to him when he is the one providing for that family at the head of the day, at the end of the day, rather. A lot of women go into situations trying to control the situation and making it about them. A lot of women do not go into relationships trying to build a true um co-partner or a partnership relationship they go into a relationship with i want a partner but he has to do what i say when i want how i want and if he tries to interject on what i want he has to remove himself from the equation which is why a lot of relationships do not work
Because in America, women have been given this mindset. I am the head. I can start it and I can end it. I don't need you. And you are here as long as I feel like I need you. And and the moment that I don't need you no more, you can walk out that door, which is why a lot of men leave y'all with children. If you have allowed a man to walk into your home and be a part of your family, this man should be able to discipline those children. And if you cannot trust him to discipline your children accordingly, why are you even with him? That makes no sense to me. I'm going to feel like they hurt different than men. Hell Just because you express it different. You if a man tell you, hey, babe, I don't like that. Don't do that. That means he's hurt about that. He don't I like that. Man. I express that, that that to you so you don't do it, but I'm hurting. A woman be like, that wasn't that bad because I didn't show those emotions. And if you can't say because you're crying snot and I'm being quiet that I'm not as hurt. You don't know that you hurt me the same way I hurt you because I didn't show those emotions. I feel like it's always the prettiest girls who get dogged out by men. Like, are y'all really that insecure? You can't handle a body? If you can't handle a body, leave her alone. They always say this to cope. Uh, that's really all it is. Because one thing's for certain, honey, I need me a man. I don't know about y'all, but <laughs> I do not say I don't need a man. I don't say I hate men. I don't say no. I love me some men. Y'all are the best, and I need you. Who's not f***ing their man tonight? You're not f***ing your man tonight. Is the second day? <laughs> Stand up straight. That's why she's not f***ing you. You f***ing like a child. Stand up straight, bro. You never had some first thing? You're lying ass bitch. Like her, her earring fell off when she said that shit. Even God knows you're lying. So why not him? You like him. You want, oh, the other ones you didn't like. I don't like you. But you like him, huh? You like him. Okay, I have a question Supposedly. for all the single guys. So if you're not a single guy, keep scrolling. Okay, so um, do y'all decorate for Christmas? Like even at all? Do you like get a Christmas tree like at your bachelor pad? I only asked because I was dating this guy like a couple years ago and he told me he didn't decorate for Christmas and I was like, that's a red flag, right? Like, but maybe it's not. Maybe, maybe guys just don't decorate for Christmas at all. But do you even have like, you know, like anything? Stockings? Do you have anything? I need to know because like I need to know if that's an actual red flag because that turned out really bad. Like that dude totally fooled me and I'm a really good read on people. Ooh, it's really bad. But like, do y'all decorate for Christmas? I just need to know if that's a red flag or if like most guys just don't. They do, um, it, why would you? Like it's not a necessity. You can, but you don't really need to. If the guy has family, he's probably going over his family in his friend's house. He's not really, he's single. Like what, what he's going to be decorating his house for? Just to take it down for no reason there's nobody coming over his house except his friends and his boys are not going to want to see that they're not going to care that's weird to call that a red flag my 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 at your age you should know better if i shared my man on the internet and you guys got under my comment section calling him ugly saying i could do better i would get on the internet and gaslight each and every one of you because you're not about to ruin my relationship because you think he's ugly you're not about to have my man thinking he's ugly in this relationship no 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 those are conversations we keep in the house in the group chat he's gonna think he's ugly do you know what an ugly man will do to a beautiful woman do you know do you know how dangerous of a situation that is anyway okay i don't give a shit if you think he's ugly i don't care if he is ugly Shh. is beautiful in the room with us <laughs> i'm just joking Y'all know my life in the shambles. I get in the news immediately. I just lost the best I ever had, finest. I mean, I even apologize. That didn't work. That's crazy. Oh. Oh but I wasn't gonna tell the story at first, but I've confirmed he in fact does not have no social media, so we're good to go. So last night, I'm coming from the. I went to Love Frank went to Target because I needed to get uh groceries for the next few days and get dog food so i go to target i get my things i got more things than i was supposed to get i spent 120 dollars in target and i went to go get <sighs> cheese sticks protein chips and dog food i don't know what the fuck about. but anyway i mostly to my car i'm putting my groceries in you know to do, do my my business now i know that some people i think everything i do is just like girly and dainty every time i like this i just this is really how i am i, I just know i'm so keeping my groceries in the car oh my god 
Anyway, so I put my groceries in the car, and then I'm going around the back of the car to get in, and as I'm going, like, I'm parked, I'm at the Midtown Target, so there's, like, the wall back there, so I'm parked against the wall, I backed in, and so it's a car pulling up, like, going out, and they, like, block me in, and they stop, and I'm like, well, what the fuck going on, because you see me about to get in this car, like, I know you see me about to get in this car, so someone gets out the car, and I'm like, what the fuck is going on? So this man gets out the car and he's like, uh, excuse me, do you have a second? And I'm like, I I am scared, but it's not that late for me to be scared, scared. And it's like busy in the parking lot. So I'm not, I'm communicating, I'm making it clear that he's, you're scaring me. And so I'm like, yeah, like, what's up? And he's like, oh, I just thought you were so beautiful. <laughs> yeah, I knew it. So I just thought you were so beautiful. I just had to stop. Like, can I, like my, this is my name. Like, what's your name? I had, I broke my neck trying to look at you. I had, I couldn't leave here without seeing, saying hello to you. <sighs> mm. So I gave him my number and he was fine. He was fine. Um, I was panicked cause he didn't text me. So I thought I put my number in his phone wrong, but he ended up texting me today. FaceTime still fine. And y'all did, would you believe that we live, our buildings are next door to each other? It is the holiday season. I am in a holiday rom com. Ha! <laughs> <sighs> like buses, you know. You miss one, next 15, one coming. I, I don't think that's how it works. Um, with her luck, and I've seen a few of her videos, it's trash. <laughs> She's going to end up like she is, single, telling us these stories about how she is fumbling actual good dudes. But if that's how she likes her life, it is what it is. Um, I want to go back to the lady that was absolutely cooking Lil Wayne's daughter, Ray Janae Carter. Um, Cause I, I think she made a very good point. And I think it had something to do with women, some women, modern women feeling like they are the head of the household in relationships. Like, oh, I'm going to do this. It's going to be all on me. It, I'm, it's going to start with me and it's going it's going to start with me and it's going to stop with me. I think that's what she said. I like the way she put it. And I thought that was perfect because that's exactly what modern women do. That's exactly what strong, independent women do until they get tired, until it's too much, until they have a mental breakdown, until they're just on their last leg. And then a man is supposed to be able to read them and come in and swoop. And you're supposed to know when I'm tired. You're supposed to support me. And I got to leave you now because you don't really care about me. And really, if you think about it, that it's a bunch of nonsense because that's terrible communication. If you think about it, you should have been telling them you even if you had it. Even if let's say you have kids. You can do it for your kid. But you step back and you do what you let the kid do it so they can learn how to do things and how to grow. It's the same thing in a relationship. Even though you could do it, you step back and let your partner do it and you let them figure out a way to do it. And say, oh, do it like because that's what y'all do. And that's how y'all in y'all's relationship over the top on a man's back and then wonder why a man don't want to help you. Y'all need to get it together, wearing anything, doing anything. And then when you get called out for it, you get mad, no accountability. And you wonder why you get out here and you fumble men, good men, because you can't figure out how to get out of your own way.